metal bar and sans his metalness, unfortunately. Yes. So, hello everyone. This this may be public content or this may be behind the scenes content. Either way, you can go to patreon.com backslash dspiffy to see all kinds of... Correction, backslash is actually the opposite. Somebody, somebody told me that the other day and I just... Well, Evan's... don't say backslash because if they put that in, it's wrong. Well, then they'll put the other one and it'll be fine. So we're here with Andy, and this is Andy's first time seeing a lot of the new stuff. So what we're going to do a full barn tour with fan demos and light demos <coughs> once we finish the cleaning and organizing, and maybe even organ demos. Um, but in the meantime, what, uh, uh, what, ha what wasn't here last time you were here? Pretty much all the, all the industrials on this side, except for the heat cycler, blender, stratojet mixture. Um, that row wasn't there on the top. These, well, I thought the top row went in before, though. The top row was there. My, yeah. My These four. <coughs> this <coughs> is most different, <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> this row, these four were always here, but we did, Pete recently changed the fans. And then we moved the lights to the rafters to get them out of the way of the fans and for better lighting. And so far, it's been really nice. Lighting. It does make a world of difference. Um, There's more. There's definitely, uh, definitely different lighting already. It's just because that one now, now it's not on. It seems like it's getting faster. <coughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> We can turn it on, but yeah, that's the only thing that's different. That and one tube yeah. was out in that. I just turn, didn't turn any of the HIDs on. Wait, the thing that's confusing me, Andy, <clears throat> other than not being able to breathe, is, um, <clears throat> is the brown fans, like the heat cyclers and blenders, were the last to go up after the lighting, after the uh, peak of the roof fans. Interesting, that one in the back stopped. It was working before. <clears throat> that was new and and i've been trying to get the reason i haven't posted the video yet rick of you and i both talking telling the story of hanging the hansen is because i was trying to get a third yeah i was trying to get him and he, he's he's replied to me several several times and said i said i'll do it today and then nothing has happened <clears throat> That's the test ring, so just whatever we test at any given time goes there. So. Yeah, that hand thing. I, when I saw that in your Facebook message chat, I was like, what the actual... Did you know these even existed? I did not. So these were a thing. I talked about them in the Hanson Workbench video. Uh, patented in 75 as just a fan cage without the lights on the outside. <clears throat> just designed to be something to keep fan blades from, you know, having some object break them or whatever. And then in 76, it was patented as the Hansen uh, Lights Fantasy. And it was exactly the same thing as the fan cage, except it had porch lights uh, around the side. <clears throat> and they offered them with a blender fan or an original. They offered them in 52, 36, and 24-inch sizes. <clears throat> I've never seen a 24 inch one. I'm not sure if they just shaved the blades down on a small original or blender or if they put like a box fan motor and blade in there. I don't know. I've never seen one. <clears throat> That's also a really late one, too. I don't think they one for the original. They sold them at least through 83. Yeah. I went and looked it up yesterday or today because Skyler asked me. And they sold them at least through. Feel free to change the speeds or dim the lights. It's over there on the wall and the controls are labeled right where you come in. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> The dim light in the background. Now, I slightly regret putting the dimmer on there because Skyler is determined <clears throat> to talk me into replacing each one of the light bulbs in the lanterns with a socket fan. And oh yeah. 
Yeah, well, you saw there's antiques back there. That was another thing I was going to show you once. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I haven't been back here yet. Yeah. So there's two antiques and one almost antique. Yeah, no kidding. Because those, <clears throat> those pull chain through blenders are are barely a decade away from being oil baths. The design is technically antique era. I mean, if we're counting 60s, it's antique. I mean, to me, <clears throat> the differentiation between antique and vintage is when, when everybody but Hunter switched off oil bath. Yeah. So by definition, that is the very first non-antique. But that's just my opinion. I'm not, you know. So another thing that's cool is everyone I've seen besides this one had a dimmer switch in the bottom of the switch cap to dim the lights. <clears throat> this one did not, no idea why. Because it's just a grommet, just like a regular original. So well, why don't we show Andy his other favorite room? Oh yeah. Yeah. Which I think it's it's kind of an underappreciated room because it's not. We have, well, we haven't okay. done anything with it yet. Well, this is yeah. where all the new and box fans are going to go when we finish moving. This room's pretty cool. <laughs> Quickly becoming one of my favorites. Yeah, once we actually start using it. So this is this is I. <clears throat> this is what we were supposed to be doing on your birthday. We were going to hang. Because uh, then we were going to get together on your birthday, right? And then I think Cody had a medical issue or something like that. So we we had planned to hang these. For your birthday and I think we still did it just you you couldn't be here but that one needs a bearing obviously So this is this is your rust bucket R52. Oh right? yeah, there's the rusty yeah, so R52. That the one that's in progress. Yeah, so that's, that's <clears> been, uh, quite an undertaking. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, well, the only uh, remaining roadblock on this right now is that this uh, rotor is still cemented onto the stator because it's full of rust in here, sure. right in that area. Otherwise, I think if we could get the rotor out, the rest of it is honestly yeah. I could handle it. Like, that's the only like. The if if we can get the rotor out either intact and it's already it's already not intact but enough that we could jb weld it back together right. or get it out and get a replacement rotor right. <clears throat> I have, I gotta then um then it's technically salvageable yeah which which of your r52s is this is this the one that used to be in your that used to like hang in that collection of original motors in your mom's basement no you and i tested this one together at the organ shop attic and uh, it was complete, it came complete. The one in my mom's basement did not. That one I didn't think was adapter. That one was regular brackets. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm turning them down because they're on like a medium type speed. Just because sometimes, depending on the voltage yeah, sag yeah. and whatever else, they don't, and bearing they finickiness and temperature, yeah, sometimes they stall on low, so I usually keep them on medium, but. <clears throat> yeah, feel free to play with the controls, Andy. And then <clears throat> the other thing you probably want to see is Pete did change the fans in the enclosure. That's probably the least, I'd say, the hallway and the, uh... Uh, Here's uh, all the original motors went here. Yeah. Well, most of them. Most, most of them. <clears throat> I mean, the, theoretically, the, anything cast iron is supposed to end up in here. The front, the front half of this room is going to be cast iron and the back half. There's is that the one that you love, or is that a different one? I believe that's the one. Might be the one. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, it should go in your house is where it should go. Also, check the aesthetic flow. <coughs> it's it 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 supposed to go in my mother-in-law's house. Oh, okay. Well, either way. Yeah, this one needs, uh, has to be a... That might have been a... Uh... That one might have got metal. Oh, oh there's that, um, that low profile. Yeah. Most of these probably came out of my mom's basement. Yeah, they might have gotten a little bit. Yeah. Some cool stuff, though. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if you could select what type of porch lamps these came with or if they just came with whatever porch lamps Hanson could get, but I've seen them with very, a myriad different porch lamps. And it, this one actually came with four extras that we just kind of hung around the barn. 
<clears throat> those all came with the Hanson. So, <clears throat> looks like it came out of like an Irish pub or some sort of ale house. You want to turn on the Hunter there? Now this this isn't. I need to work on this. It needs bearings need to be oiled and it needs to be balanced, but we can run it briefly. Same with the Rotair. I took the uh, oil cups out of it to clean them, and they haven't been replaced yet, so I don't want to run it because it doesn't have any oil in it. But we can run it briefly. And then... We, uh, we kind of restored the canopy on this one. Oh yeah, we, well, the canopy was covered in white paint. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, I'm guessing since the last time you've been here, all the fans have been swapped a la metal. Except for those two Emersons, I think, otherwise. Oh, yeah, those two Emersons, yeah. And a few new lights as well. His metalness has been hard at work meddling, as oh, one does. I see, I see this one. Oh, that wasn't up last time you were here? Well, I pulled it out for him, but I don't think it was up yet. <clears throat> yeah, it looks great there. It's awesome, yeah. I... Oh yeah, that's that one got mangled in the great collapse of 2021. What year was that? 2022. <coughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> Nothing that we can't fix though, <coughs> but it's, it's just the canopy. Yeah. Oh, there's your. Did you ever find all the 36 inch originals? Nope. Two nope, we never did. We were, we were going to originally that was going to be a possible youth center. Yeah. That's why. That's why I remember them because I remember. Yeah. Yeah, we never did find everything we needed. <clears throat> yeah, no, I love that favorite. Yeah, that one what I suggested watch. to Pete... Go ahead, what are you going to say, Andy? We got to watch where you're stepping here. You're going to step on a fan part or something. Yeah, now... Um, <clears throat> now... Uh, uh, Ideally, things will be organized. Before we do our full tour video, everything will be organized, although probably not the enclosure. This is very much the metal layer. Like, I don't... I don't see the, don't see the enclosure like changing. Like work, work yeah, thing. well, this is this is, this is is very much Pete's area. Did you, like, did you uh, find the seventh fan that he added? Oh, yeah, there are, se yeah, there are seven fans in here total hanging and, and spinning. Yeah, isn't that nice back there? <laughs> <clears throat> Yep, rare four metal blade version. This was the one that was up, up there, right? Yes, he moved it oh, there. Right, yeah. <clears throat> I like this better. Yeah, it's a little better light than that. It, yeah, it, it fits in better down here. It's the plus the one that was up there. Wasn't really doing much, and the one that was, that one was really wasn't really doing much over the stairs. Like none of it made sense. Uh, <clears throat> the thing I suggested to Pete, Rick, is you see how the daybrights over here. Yeah. Why don't we just hang the rest of them along this wall? Because we got a bunch more of them just to get them off the ground, as he says. Yeah, there definitely are some more. But he was not a fan of that. But I mean, that'd be something that'd be easy enough to do. They don't even have to be on a switch. They could just plug in and and. Is that one just on with the rest. Of that's them? just on with the rest of them. I wish he would have put a pull chain on it. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. Please support our sponsors. Fanstick, Lightstick, Taco Burrito Mexico, the good manufacturing company, Ricker Sheep, um, 81220 LLC. Go to buyfanstick.com, fanstick.biz, lightstick.biz, rickersheep.com, uh, patreon.com slash dspiffy. What do you say? Oh, Florida Fanstick. Go to buyfanstickxxx.com. Thanks for watching.